who were the best Premier League players from the weekend games. We take a look at the man of the match performances in our hot list. Gabriel Jesus and Leroy Sane might have scored a couple of goals apiece, but it was De Bruyne who ran the show. The midfielder weighed in with two assists, made three key passes and put in more crosses than any other player. Eight. He was absolutely fantastic, said Sky Sports pundit Gary Neville. In the big moments in a game, like the first goal, it's a wonderful, wonderful pass. And then the second goal, in my opinion it's the biggest moment in the game other than the sending off in terms of taking the game away from Liverpool. Bournemouth's back three struggled to cope with Arsenal's attacking threat all afternoon, with Welbeck the main beneficiary. His tally now stands at four goals from six appearances for club and country this season, while he also contributed an assist for Alexander Lacazette's strike against the Cherries. He was inches away from a hat-trick too when his audacious second-half chip landed narrowly wide. Two goals and one assist made Gross comfortably the standout player for Brighton. The German popped up when the hosts needed him most, as it looked like another half of football would pass them by without finding the net. The midfielder followed up that strike late in the first half with a well-taken second, while his assist laid it on a plate for Tomer Hemd. Kane admitted after the match he didn't mean his opener but that didn't take away from the convincing display of forward play he provided. Indeed, his second goal was superbly taken and he made it look far easier than it was. With another unproductive August now behind him, he looks to be flourishing again. Few Leicester fans would begrudge Conte his moment in the sun back at the King Power. He was up to his usual wrecking ball tricks in the Chelsea midfield, completely negating any service into Jamie Vardy's feet. But what stood him out from the rest in a solid team performance from the champions was his well-struck goal which proved vital in the circumstances. It was only Conte's third Premier League goal of his career having also netted against Manchester United and Watford. England under-21 international Chalaba stood up brilliantly to Oriel Romeu in the centre of midfield and was a controlling influence as Watford stifled the life out of their hosts. Never allowed himself to be bullied first to every ball and encapsulated everything good about a dominant Watford display having only scored three goals for Schalke last season, Chupomoting opened his Stoke account with a double against Manchester United. For the first, he showed good movement to get ahead of Eric Bailey to sweep and across, before heading in from a corner to level the game in the 63rd minute. Maxim has been absolutely fantastic since the moment he arrived here, said Stoke manager Mark Hughes afterwards. You always hope that when you bring new players in that they will hit the ground running, and I have to say that since he has walked through the door he has impacted the games he has been involved in. A man mountain at the heart of the Burnley back four. Ably assisted by Benmi, 
The former Brentford man stepped into the shoes vacated by Michael Keane to keep Christian Benteke quiet. The centre-back mid-18 clearances in the match, which is the most by a player in a Premier League game this season. Newcastle supporters were staring at the prospect of having a fruitless 780-mile round trip to the Liberty Stadium, but, when it mattered most, upstepped their captain. Lascaux's brilliant goal-line clearance set Newcastle on their way to a second clean sheet on the spin, and he went one better by scoring the winner to send the travelling fans back to Tyneside on a high-